Hey guys, I'm back with another video. It's Tommy, your boy. What is up? I'm gonna say this real quick. This is gonna be what I'm loving at the moment products, like monthly favorites from November that I've been using and I'm obsessed with. And I'm just gonna say this right now. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Where are you waiting for? Come on. I'm gonna be posting some really good videos upcoming. I have so many projects and ideas I'm working on at the moment to create. And if you want to see this makeup tutorial, it'll be up within the next couple of days. And how I created this and what palette I used and everything like that. Stay tuned. I'm going to get in with the video. So, I have like random little things I've been using and I've been loving. I'm going to start with eyeshadow palettes. You know I always have to have an eyeshadow palette, right? Like... The first one I've had forever and I'm obsessed with still is the Jack and Hill, Jack and Hill palette with Morphe. It's one of my all-time favorite palettes at the moment. It's been one of my favorites. That, if you follow my Instagram, I have a rainbow eyeshadow look I did and I used this palette to do it. And you're probably wondering how. Well, this is what I used, this entire palette. I might have used some of her other, uh, her vault collection as well. So I have her entire vault and I have this. So I use this for a lot of the rainbow looks that I've done and her vault collection. Cause I didn't buy the Jeffree Star palette just to do that look. I bought these a while ago and I was like, maybe I could create a rainbow look with it. And I did. And I'm highly obsessed with these. They're so smooth, so creamy and so blendable and buildable. And it's just like, girl, you know what I wanted. Like, come on, it's amazing. And it's the 35 Dream Colors by Morphe. It's one of my favorites, like, come on. The next palette is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, a modern renaissance, and I love this. I've had it for a while. I don't always use it, because I used to use it a lot. This is like one of my first like high-end makeup purchases, right? So I bought this, and I started doing a lot of looks with Valentine's Day and everything like that. And it's perfect for date night, Valentine's Day, any holiday. You could also use it as like just nudes in it, because I love how versatile it is. So like the first six shades from here over, you could use to do um, regular looks. So you could use some of the light colors with the brown and the glitter on top and it's easy. It's like two shades, three shades and you're good to go. If you wanna start getting into like more holiday looks, so like Valentine's Day, you could use these for over here, like these eight shades on this side. I love Love Leather. It's one of my favorites. It's creamy. It's perfect. I could swatch it. It's very, very pigmented. And I love how like creamy it is and it's not like chalky. Like some products are very chalky and I'm not a fan of that where it's like you put it on and it doesn't blend out as well. You know what I mean? Like you put it on, it's chalky or it's patchy and I'm not a fan of that. I'm not here for that. I'm here for the creamy, buildable colors that are easy to build up and blend and not have so much fallout. You know what I mean? Every palette's gonna have fallout, no matter what. So having a palette that's very versatile and very easy to blend is a number one thing for me. It buys, me, it, it like sells to me. It's just like pick that and I'm like, ooh, yes, fish. Next thing I'm gonna show you is a makeup, um, Cleanser. Well, not cleanser, but like makeup brush remover. I have like a whole bunch of them over here. This I recently just bought. I love it. It doesn't smell bad at all. It smells like Vicks Vapor Rub, if you know that smell. It's just like strong, but it's not like over empoweringly strong, this product. It's the Daily Brush Cleaner. Um, can't pronounce names ever, but it's from Sephora. And it's like this. It's like $15, I believe. $18, $15. Don't quote me on that, I think it's 15. But I love it because it's a huge bottle and you just spray it. Because I have another one by It Cosmetics and the sprayer stopped working. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So I went out and bought this because I love this. I This is my top favorite from November for a makeup brush cleaner because I'm always cleaning my makeup brushes. Like every time I use it for like a colorful look, I have to clean them. If I do a neutral look, not as much. But if I want like a nice pigment and a nice blendable, same color look, I have to clean them. You know what I mean? And then I have a lip scrub by Lush I've had for a little while. 
It's the bubblegum lip scrub. Oh my god, it smells like bubblegum. Mm, I think that's why I bought it. Gently rub a little bubblegum flavored sugar onto your lip to scrub them. This is perfect after you liquid lipsticks. I'll put this on and let get the get rid of the dead skin or like anything that's coming off of it. And I use it and it's amazing. I've had it for probably ever. I used to have like two of these. I went through whole one, one whole one and I bought another one and I love it. Especially when you like go back and you like lick your lips after you do it. It's like bubble gum. It's just straight bubble gum flavoring. And it's like, okay, you sold me there. I'll buy it. <laughs> Next product is gonna be a lotion. So I have Super Smooth Body Lotion 24 Hour Moisturizer, Shea Butter and Coconut Oil, Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath Body Works. I love vanilla. I love the scent of vanilla, no matter what time of the year it is. And I love it because it's not like too oily. It's not like it, how to put it? It sinks into your skin very fast. It's moisturizing, so it helps with dry skin in the winter and everything. I bought this like a month ago and I'm like halfway through it. It's like, come on. This is like my second one. Oh, I wish I worked a body like this shop because <laughs> the discounts on this, I'll just be spending my paycheck on this, basically, which we can't do. Next thing is e a um, daily hydrating, um, hydrating gel matte cleanser. So anytime I have makeup, I take a makeup wipe, I wipe it off. I take off all my makeup and then I'll go in with hydrating gel matte cleanser, melt cleanser, because it melts the makeup that's left over out. Like it melts it so it's like, how to put it? It melts it down where it's easy to take off and then you wash your face and everything. You know the drill with that. This is by e.l.f. and I love it because it helps so much with um, taking your makeup off, like I said. No smell to it. It's a very, it's like an oily gel type but that melts your makeup down. So I put this, if I don't use the makeup wipe, let me just say, I'll do this too. And it takes off all your makeup, you massage it around. It's it's really good. It's like one of my favorite brands right now for um, cleanser wise, like, yeah. This I would recommend. I think it was like $6, $10, somewhere around there. I bought it two of these a year ago. This one I just recently opened in August, but I've been using it and I've loved it since. And then my e.l.f. Gentle Peeling Exfoliant, you use this once a week, twice a week sometimes I'll use it. And you just put a little bit on when your face is dry. Basically, it peels away dead skin and dirt for soft, healthy, glowing skin. So, you know, makeup, it clogs your pores at times. Like if you don't use a good primer, it clogs them. It's not healthy for your skin to always have makeup on. So anytime I have makeup on like twice a week, like maybe Wednesdays and Saturdays, I'll use this and gently like scrub it onto my face, go around and it peels away all the old dead skin. It works really well, especially around my nose when I use this. Oh my God, like the dead skin that comes off is amazing. And I love it. And it was only like $10, $12. And it says even use two to three times a week. So you could use it like Monday, Monday Wednesday and Friday. I only use it twice, but this is perfect if you wear a lot of makeup, especially when I did special effects looks on for Halloween, I had to use this because the way special effects, like with latex and all that, it cakes up your face in the pores and that's not healthy for your skin. So I recommend this, definitely recommend anything with like a peeling exfoliant, like anything that gets rid of the dead skin, I'm there for, I sign me up, I'll buy 10 of them. Literally, that's how I feel about that. Now we're gonna get into body spray. I don't buy bougie freaking cologne or perfume. I have, but I used it all up in one month and I'm like, this is why it's expensive and this is why I shouldn't use it because I'll just go through it like that. And I'm like, it's meant for occasionally using like date nights or going out with friends or something like that. Not like an everyday mess, like literally. Three times a day I would spray it on me and I'm like, nope, 12 year old me needed to learn not to spend 90 bucks on fucking perfume. No offense, but. Me as a child to have money, I'm like, yep, let me go spend it all. I had no bills though, so <laughs> that kind of worked well. Now I have Japanese Cherry Blossom from Bath Body Works. I love these because they're three for 12 and you get like three of them. So they're perfect for your purse, your bag, your car, your apartment. Like I have one in my apartment, I have one in my car and one in my bag. And I have like three more somewhere else in my apartment. 
I just love the smell of it because it's not like overly powerly, like overpoweringly fragrant. It's just that perfect blend of fragrance where it's not gonna kill you, <laughs> basically. I recommend these. This is I buy these like three times a year, four times a year. Yeah, basically every three months. Yeah, that's four times a year. So three times a month, it's it's great. No. I mean, three times, oh my god, I can't even talk. Every three months I buy them. Let me just clarify that. Now I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite powders for saying your face, for baking, and everything like that. So now we're on the makeup area. It's Makeup Revolution um, Luxury Baking Powder and Ghost. I love it. Because it's not overly expensive, but it's like not like, right now it's one of my favorites um, at the moment. Usually I will buy like, Laura Mercier, which I have. I have a little bit left of that, but I normally use this because it's just a cheaper alternative to my opinion, where instead of spending like $36, $39 on a setting powder, I'll buy this and I'll use it. I love it. The packaging is really cool to my opinion. And I love it because it's just like, so I have an old Sephora translucent powder case, right? So I'll use this and dump it in there and it's just perfect. Cause this has no other way of coming out unless you have like another thing to put it in. So basically it's one of my favorite setting powders at the moment. Yeah, it's great. I think it was like $5, $6. Don't quote me on that. Makeup Revolution is very affordable. And I found their products like over two years ago and I've loved them. I've bought other things by them. Same with NYX. I usually, trust me, the drugstore used to be my crap. Like I used to go there and buy makeup because that's all I could afford. And I spent like $50 on like 20,000 things and like $50 high end doesn't get you anywhere. So like one eyeshadow pal possible. <laughs> Literally. My life, that's where it goes. Now I have a bag of all different makeup that I put in here for this video. So I'm gonna go in with highlighters and blushes at the moment, all right? All right, so I bought these at Sephora in October. They are their Tarte Shape, no. Why do I keep saying Shape Tape? We'll get into that in a little bit. But Tarte is one of my other favorite brands. Um, I bought these, they're the Holiday Duo set for like $35, nine shades. It's, it's a pretty good deal. So basically you get three highlighters, which I'll show you. There's one highlighter. That's the black packaging. And this is another highlighter. And then the gold highlighter is, we really have to open these things. They all look the same, right? They do, but they're not, they're all different. And this one's called Frosty for the highlighter and the gold pack, well, rose gold packaging, it's called Snow Kissed and then, and then Silver metallic black color is NYE, and I love these for their highlights perfectly. And their blushes, so you get like five different blushes and one contour, but I love them because like you get so many different options for blushes. Like if you want to do like a super girly or super like pinky look, that one's perfect for it. I don't really use that one, but I use this shade a lot because it's not too overpowering, like it's more of a peach color. So that's why I love that product. And now that was the first part of it. This is the second one. This is the contour I use. It's called Peppermint Mocha. This is one of my favorite contours, like bronzers wise. Not contour, but bronzer, you know what I mean. And then their blush. It's like, this one I use a lot more than anything daily wise because it's not like overly powering, you know? And then this one has two blushes. So more of like a new, like a brown color. And this is like more of a pink color and I love them. For $35, that's a good deal because you have this for like a year, two years. So that's one of my favorite items at the moment. And now we're gonna go, go into brows. So I normally use Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Brow Define and Medium Brow. I swear by that, that's my favorite, but that ran out recently. So I started using my old one before I bought that, which is the Cub Brow by Benefit. It's the pomade. So this is shade three. And I love it because you could shape your brows, but you could fill them in. It's just the same as the Brow Define. 
but I forgot about this product I've had and I love it because it comes with a little brush, but I also like my um, brow brush that I bought because it's just easier, it's bigger to dip in and it has like more of a grip to it when you do your brows. So this helps filling and shaping them really well. So I think this was like $20. Okay, well I'm not really good with prices anymore because things go up and I'm like, I buy it and I'm like, okay, plus tax and stuff, but it's not a bad deal. I also have the Anastasia Dip Brow, which I love more. I'm not gonna say I love it more. I'm just gonna say like they're both the same, but this one is a bit smaller and that's why I like the Anastasia because it's bigger and this brush I don't really care for. But other than that, I've been loving it the month of November. So, and the worst thing is when you run out of your favorite brow pencil, it's just like, oh, great. And I didn't have time to go out because I was doing a look. So I'm like, let me just go and see what else I have. And I'm like, okay, we'll use that and see if we still love it. And we do. All right, so I have lip products. I have liquid lipsticks. Actually, before I go into the liquid lipsticks, I have my all-time favorite, favorite concealer at the moment for months, it's been the Tape Shape Tape, Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. I love it because it's creamy and it goes on like butter and it doesn't crease my under eyes or by my nose, which I love because some concealers, like you know you put it on, you set your face and everything, then five hours later, it's like creasing under your eyes or around your nose and I don't like it. And so I bought this and I'm like, okay, it changed my life. life. Double duty beauty. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love how big the wand is. For one, it's so big and it's creamy and it's, ugh. I could just talk about this all day, literally. It's my favorite. And this was only $29. I thought it used to be 20 at one point. Like when it first came out, I thought it was like $21. Nope, it's 29. And I'm like, okay, I guess that's actually a pretty good price for it because how big it is and how good it is. So that's my favorite. And now we're gonna go into lips. So I have two lip, stick products I've been loving. I have MAC Cosmetics Patrick Star's um, Mama Star shade. I bought this a while ago. I love it because it's like a nude, like a nude color. It's not like too bad. It's just like a, between red and nude. So it's like a brownish nude, which I love. I can actually swatch it for you guys because I have my wrist out, mine as well. Let me roll this up, put that there. You see, it's creamy, it's blendable. It's just like very creamy and pig, how to put it? It's creamy, it goes on like butter. It doesn't come off that easily unless you eat, like you know what I mean? And that was like $20 as well. Now for affordable little bit, I have Makeup Revolution and 300 Coffee Bean Shade and I love it. This one I love a lot because it's perfect for like smoky eye looks. So it's coffee bean, right? And I love it because it's just like goes on very smooth and it has a like, how do I put it? It's not too dark, it's not too light. It's just a perfect brown, light brown color for your lips. I love this product. I think this was $4, $5, something like that. So that's very inexpensive for a, a li like a lipstick, which I personally love. I mean, like they almost look identical. This one's more brown. I bought this for like a smoky look. And then this one's more red and I love them. Well, it's actually more of like a nude pink, but I love them. They're my favorites right now. You know, every month they change. For a gloss, I have only one gloss, which is Fenty Beauty, the Fenty Glow Gloss. This is like an everyday gloss. If I just want to do a mascara and gloss, this is what I do. And this smell, oh my God, it smells so good. I love it because it has some glitter to it. It's like very like sticky, but it's very like, I don't know how to pronounce it or explain it, but it's very, it's like very thick and very sticky. And I love that about this lip gloss. As you see, it's right there. It's like it's just like a very sticky kind of lip gloss. But I love, we love for a good sticky lip gloss, but I've been loving that for since June. Forgot to mention it last month, but I went a month without it, two months without it. And I just started using it again this month. 
So I love it again. And then something I totally forgot I bought a while ago and I started using it again in my um, e.l.f. cosmetics makeup doing a whole full face of mel um, e.l.f. cosmetics. And I found this liquid lipstick that I loved and I also used this in my Thanksgiving holiday look. It's the Modern Metallics liquid lipstick. I love it because it's not too orangey. It's not too red. It's just like a burnt orange color. And I love the packaging of it. The wand I love especially because it's just so easy to put it on. It's, oh my God, I fucking love this. Like that is amazing. I mean, yeah, it looks like Patrick Stars and Coffee Bean, but this is much more of a deeper burnt orange color. And I, I love it, especially for like those days that you do like a fall look or orange makeup. You can match it with this or nude. And I freaking love how creamy it is. And it stays on, it doesn't come rub off, it doesn't over dry my lips. You know what I mean? Like some liquid lipsticks really dry them. And I hate that. Or they smudge back. <sighs> I can't, I love, I love this. This I recommend. It is, I think $6 from Elf. I don't know if they still sell it, but I bought it a while ago. Now we're getting into the liquid lipsticks. I have two. I have Kat Von D, Latoya, Laloya. I can't pronounce names, Laloya. I love it. I started using this again like a month ago, two months ago, and I love it because it's that perfect nude, kind of liquid lipstick. It's creamy, it's blendable, it's, it just dries perfectly on the lips. And it's just like, you know what Kylie Cosmetics, I think it's one of her color shades that it looks exactly like, I don't know the name of it, but literally it looks amazing on lips. It's just that perfect color combination. If you have a nude look, this is a perfect look, like liquid lipstick for it. Or if you have like a red look for your eyes, like what I did, this would go great with it because it's not too overpowering. Like it's not too dark. It's not too light. It's just middle and I love it. No wonder why this is one of her top selling liquid lipsticks because it's perfect. Now we're gonna go in with my Jeffree Star. My androgyny Jeffree Star. That's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. I love it because it's not overly drying. It's just that perfect buildable color. I swear they look exactly like. I think they're both almost the same, Kat Von D's and Jeffree Star's. But that's Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick, Androgyny, and that's Kat Von D's. This one's much, much more deeper, deeper color. It's just that perfect shade. This one's a little bit more of a pink. This is more of a pink and red together. Well, pink and burgundy. How to put it? Pink and burgundy color together, and I love it. I freaking love this. And I think that will be all for this makeup tutorial. I mean, not even makeup tutorial. Makeup favorites, November monthly favorites video. I'm gonna say it again. If you're not already subscribed, following my social medias, my social media will be all linked down below in the description. The same with the products I'm loving at the moment. I'll link, link the names and the brands they're buying, the prices down in the description. And if you're not already subscribed, it would mean a lot to me if you would go hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you get emails, alerts when I upload. I'm gonna be uploading Mondays and Fridays from now on. And I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great rest of the day. I thank you so much for taking your time out to watch this kind of video. And there's gonna be a lot more makeup tutorials coming and a lot more products and a lot more projects I'm working on. So just get ready for that. I love these. I love coffee bean. I love all different kinds of liquid lipsticks. But yeah, someone that doesn't really know makeup would be like, aren't those the two same, same colors? To me, no. They're a little bit different, but that's just my opinion. But that's me. I love you all. Till next time, have a great day. Bye.